As both the Pinaka and Smirch multiple launch rocket system has limited capabilities due to its turning circle diameter restrictions in high altitude mountainous regions, the DRDO is developing a new 120mm medium range precision guided rocket system with a range of 30 km, that will be mounted on a 4x4 platform for better mobility, and it will carry a minimum of 24 rockets. It will feature a vertical launcher that will provide a 360-degree deployment capability to overcome the crest clearance problem in hilly regions. It will have onboard guidance and infrared sensor, and one of the most significant feature is that the new rocket system can operate in various modes including autonomous mode and remote mode, and it can also carry different types of warheads. Just weeks after the Indian Army's request for information for the procurement of 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system under the Make in India initiative, the German company Rheinmetall Defence has unveiled a next-generation 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzer for export customers. It is based on the new HX310 by 10 military truck chassis, and is equipped with 360 degrees rotatable 155mm 52 caliber gun, that has a range of 40 km with extended range projectiles. The turret can also be remotely controlled and offers a higher rate of fire, and the cabin crew will have ballistic protection against enemy artillery systems. The DRDO is studying the plume spread for the upcoming 13,000-ton class Project 18 destroyers that will have twin exhaust stacks. India plans to manufacture six next-generation stealth-guided missile destroyers equipped with electromagnetic rail guns, and this study is important as with the right wind speed and direction, the plume can create problems for helicopter takeoff and landing. The DRDO has already allocated $1.5 billion from its budget for research and development, and India plans to launch the first P-18 class destroyer by 2028. The DRDO has unveiled a roadmap for developing unmanned combat ground vehicle, and under the Phase 1 and Phase 2 of the program, it will involve developing an unmanned combat ground vehicle based on the BMP-2 vehicle, that will feature a remote-controlled weapon station, soft-kill active protection system and medium-power directed energy system, while the Phase 3 will be based on a new high-speed tracked vehicle, that will also add a high-power microwave system with all-weather capability to target electronic systems of the adversaries. The Ordnance Factory Board has failed to deliver 36 Stanush howitzers by the end of March 2021, and it is unlikely that the delivery will be completed this year. The production was supposed to hit 50 units per year from 2021, and now the plan to deliver all 114 guns by the end of 2022 is highly unlikely. The Army is holding back further orders for 400 units due to the present production constraints at the gun carriage factory. ISRO has revealed plans for the development of a two-stage to orbit space reusable launch vehicle, that will take off using its turbo ramjet engine to reach a speed of Mach 6 and altitude of 28 km, after which the scramjet engine will push the speed up to Mach 9 and altitude of 50 km, after which a second stage rocket will be separated from the spacecraft to deliver a two-ton payload at low Earth orbit, while the reusable launch vehicle will then glide down towards the Earth and engage its turbo ramjet engine at 15 km altitude to land back at the designated airstrip. Using the research on this two-stage to orbit space reusable launch vehicle, India can easily develop a hypersonic glide vehicle to carry nuclear MOF payloads.